Okay. What I thought I'd do while we're waiting for a fish, I'll give you a little chat on what I do, well, I, what I have been doing for the last three times I've come to this swim. And it, well, all it is really is I'm, I'm using a tiny little rake now. Um, every time I come, I suppose I rake it for about half an hour. And what it seems to do is encourage the fish into the swim. Now, I've not, I've not done that before. That, you know, 20 minutes after you rake, there's a fish in there. So um, there's a fair few tench in here, which is really good. But yeah, as you can see what I'm doing, all, all you do is underarm it out and just pull it back. And you, you'll see on some of the bits, some of the bits are tiny bits, and every so often you'll get a lump. But that's what I've been doing for the last three times. And um, I, had a, I had a tench last time, but the, the time before that, there was, I don't know, there must have been about six tench in the swim, and I couldn't get one. But that was my fault. I scattered a load of um, dead maggots in the swim, and um, all they were doing was eating the dead maggot. I, I'd moved them away from my hook bait, and they were just eating the maggot. But um, there is one tench in the swim at the moment, and it's feeding very slow. And what I mean by that is the odd bubble coming up. There's not a lot of bubbles coming, loads and loads and loads. It's just the odd one or two where it's just picking what it wants. So um, I think it's about nine o'clock now. And um, I think I've, obviously I've got half a chance because there's a tent swimming around in the swim. But yeah, I'm not float fishing. I'm on the ledger today. Well, on the method. And um, if I get a chance, I'll show you it. But um, if not, I'll show you it. If I don't catch today, I'll show you it later on in the video. But, um, yeah, I've got about another hour. Let's see how I get on. Well, it's not what we came for. But it's another bream, look. Lovely fish. Lovely fish. Yeah, so. Number two. I think I might start becoming a, a bream fisherman. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't mind. Not when they're this size, they're quite good. But um, I'll have a little chat in a minute because uh, I got here at uh, about half four and um, I've got a few stories to tell you since I've come here at half four. But yeah, number two. I don't think you can see them bubbles. They're still there.
Well, yeah, as you saw, another nice bream. But um, that was about eight o'clock this morning. It's now half past 12. Um, I haven't worked so hard to catch a tent on this session. I've changed hook lengths, I've done everything. Hook sizes, they've been out there, but I just can't, I don't know if it is all tents that are taking the bait, but um, I'm just not hooking them. They only seem to go to the, on the float, then not on the method. Um, so yeah, I've, I mean, I've worked hard, hard. And I, I'm never normally tenching at uh, half past 12 in the afternoon. I'm normally long gone. But um, see, the thing is, they're still in the swim, so you're not going to go while they're in the swim. But um, yeah, so for coming here at half four in the morning, and they have been here all day, these tench. So um, I'm going to have to have a, a rethink of a bait or something, or if I can get a bait. With the ground bait that I'm using at the moment, I'm going to see if I can get a, a pellet that's made of the same stuff. Something like that, so they're not so fussy with the um, with the sweet corn and that sort of thing. Look, that now there's a ton of bubbles now around my float, and I just see if I can connect it. I, I've been on uh, what was it, size ten hooks, uh, eight hooks, six hooks, everything, different lengths of like I, I, you know, going over the same thing again. But I've worked so hard. I've even had to put squeeze ground bait round the sweet corn to get past the rud so it gets it to the bottom and um, yeah it's been crazy but the, the, look, the amount of fishing is, is brilliant absolutely brilliant but um, it what's this my eighth session I suppose I'm still learning it you have to you, you know it takes a good season to suss it out but once you suss it, it you never look back but I've just got to find out which baits that they'll be happy to take on the hook because I, what I can see, they're very happy with the ground bait, very happy. And um, I just can't hook them. I can hook, <laughs> if I took up bream fishing, I'll be sound. But um, I think I'll be, it's Saturday today, and I'll be back probably Wednesday, Wednesday evening, and um, see if I've come up with something to, to catch them. Or, you know, I'll do a bit of homework and see if I can find some pellet that I can use. But um, I can't believe they're still in the swim, and it's the sun is absolutely, you know, boiling, absolutely boiling, and bright is the word I was looking for, and they're just still there all the time. But yeah, so if you don't see me <laughs> in a, in the next clip, I'll see you Wednesday. I'm hoping you can see my float at the bottom of the screen. And if you look just above it, can you see the bubbles? Now, what I've done is laid my float down. So what will happen, when they pick the bait up, it'll lift. So I want you to, I'm hoping I can show you. That's right on my bait now. And it's just to prove to you that half past 12 in the afternoon, they're still there. Hoping they take. Okay, well, Wednesday's been and gone. It's now Sunday. I did come back Wednesday evening. Um, I've made a new hook link, which I'll show you now. But um, I still couldn't hook them. I still couldn't hook them. I'm, I'm, I'm sure now it's presentation. I'm thinking that the, the bait's on the floor, but it's not. It's not down there on the ground. There's still a bit of weed there holding it away from them and they're just swimming underneath it and I think that's why I'm getting the line bites. But um, I've come back, it's now Sunday. Um, I'm fishing, uh, I think it's peg two now. I'm on the method to start with. I've got them left and right. And, um, but I am feeding a float spot. 
right in front of me. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. So if any bubbles come, I can be straight at it. But yeah, <laughs> there's so many tench in this place. But um, I can't get them. I can't get them. But um, I will get them eventually. But um, yeah, see how we get on. I think I uh, got here at R5. My first rod went in at six. So um, well, it's about half six now. So uh, see how we get on and um, see you in a bit. Okay, it's about eight o'clock now. Um, I've been working at it. I've been uh, changing it every half hour, the method. And um, what I have been doing is throwing a bit of a uh, ground bait out with it. Some balls of ground bait, I should say. And, um, but yeah, nothing yet. I've had to put the low pro up and um, there's a bit of rain in the a rain about. I think, what's the date today? 31st, is it? Or the 1st of August? But, um, yeah, I'll show you the weather in a minute. I'll take a picture of it the, to the right of me. That the, It looks like um, an October's day. But um, it's, like, it's warm anyway, no, no problems. And it's still all overcast. So, um, yeah, still hopeful. I mean, I've got ages yet, ages. But um, there's no sign of them yet. That's the problem. But, um, yeah, see you in a bit. Well, okay, it's um, it's 11 o'clock now. Um, I've had one on, I'm not sure if it weren't a bream, but it just bumped off on, on I didn't have it on for long. But um, yeah, I'm not sure when I'll be back. I'm hoping to come back at the weekend. I'm gonna see if I can do more weekends than evenings, because you get a bit more time to, you know, stay and do what you need to do. But um, the rudder have been busy. Been just all you've been getting bib, 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 all morning, all morning. But um, and I think half the problem is when you've got all that rudder around, you can't get your bait to the bottom because it's eaten before it even gets there. But um, I've given it a try in number two, so I might be going back to number three uh, next weekend. But uh, anyway, let's keep the video going. I'm sure I'll get one by the end of this. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. It's not the weekend, it's Wednesday. Um, I've come with a different tactic today. I'm gonna fish with um, dead maggot and ground bait. I'm gonna fish with a float, but um, as you'll see now, I was, um, it was really windy when I got here. But um, I've set the float up ready for when it calms down, but I've just cast it out. It's seven o'clock, but what I have done today I've raked, and I mean I've raked. I, I bought the big rake with me, so I've, I've cleared it. What I've hoped, I've cleared it right out, so um, I can get some presentation on the bottom. But um, yeah, I'm going to put some maggot in the ground bait. I've just put one out just now with um, a little uh, PVA bag on it, and um, with dead maggot in it, just to see what's out there. But um, yeah, see how we get on, and. Um, Hopefully we get one, eh? Okay. Right, what I'm going to show you now is what happened on my first cast. I'll show you a couple of little clips of um, uh, line bites. They just go bib, 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 bib. And um, the second clip that I'll show you is where I had a take. And what you, how you know you've had a take is because I'm using a fixed lead and the bobbin doesn't come back to where it's meant to be. It stays up. So, um, yeah, and when I wound in, I'd had a tangle. So it wasn't laying right on the floor. So I probably had a tench, but it weren't hanging right. Okay, well, it's about half eight now. And I don't think I've seen a tench bubble for about an hour and a half. Um, on my second cast, bringing it back in, a big pike. Went for the weight, 
Now I'm, I'm thinking he scared everything off. But um, I'm going to fish in the dark, so I've still got hour and a half. I'm going to fish till 10. But um, yeah, unfortunately, in this swim, I've never seen this before where there's not a, a fish in the swim. But I'll keep feeding it as if they're there because sooner or later they will come. Well, fingers crossed. But yeah, from um, having such a good start with the bites and everything, um, there's nothing out there now. But um, we've got a bit of time. Seems uh, I'm going to have to wave it out again. But um, hopefully we get one, eh? Okay, while we're waiting for this float to go under, um, I thought I'd have a little chat and say um, it's a different day now. It's now Tuesday. Um, nothing happened that um, in the last session. That pike really scared them away. Um, I've come back today and in this swim, someone's raked all the weed away from the front of the swim. It looks really good. I mean, it, the, the amount of gravel that's in this water is phenomenal. But, um, yeah, we'll sit and watch this for a little while. I'm on the float, as you can see. I'm going to fish till 10 as usual. But once it gets dark, I'm going to go on the um, fixed lead and um, so I can put the bite alarm on. But, um, yeah, I couldn't talk to you and watch the float at the same time, so I thought I'd do this. And um, I'll let it run for five minutes, see how we get on. I've had two bites, but um, they were all too quick for me to hit them. But um, yeah, see how we get on. And we'll sit here for a couple of minutes watching the flow. Yeah, you just seen. It's a new dawn. It's um, it's Sunday. Um, I didn't do any good that evening. Shame, really. But um, I've come this Sunday with a different method and a different way of thinking. Um, I've come here with the peacock quill. Now the peacock quill, I'm going to fish just off the bottom. 
I'm going to lay, I'm going to put the weight just on the bottom. So as the the tench picks the sweet corn up, it, the float will lift. But um, yeah, it's more up close and personal. My floats, my lines floating on the top. So if it does take it, I can hit it straight away. But um, I'm feeling quite confident on my other rod that I've got out on the ledger. Um, I've got dead maggot and some two mil pellet uh, in little PVA bags and um, with a bit of um, maggot on the hook and um, yeah that's why I've been going I've had a few of these which are cracking fish which is the rudlet but that's because I'm so it's so delicate the float that I can see all of this so yeah I'm feeling quietly confident the ledger rod's not done anything yet it's about eight o'clock I got here what quarter six maybe so um yeah fingers crossed the next one's a tench well finally I haven't weighed him yet, but I think he's going to be about the five, so uh, yeah, the early morning's done the job, superb, absolutely superb. Hey, finally, finally caught with tench. Um, he weighed just on five pound, so um, yeah, finally got one. The peacock quill played off. Um, yeah, great little lift bite. That's all it was, and it held there. And you know, once it's holding there, it's lift, lifting the weight off the bottom. So yeah, hopefully it's not the last one. I normally put the mockers on it, but um, hey, a tench, a tench. Yeah, let's keep fishing, see if we can get a couple more, eh? So, look who's decided to pay me a visit. My old mate, the bream. That was pretty good on um, floating tackle, though. But yeah, nice bream. I wish it was a tench, though. So, my old mate the bream come and had a look in, did he? He's feeling left out. So yeah, weren't a bad fish. Same same thing again though. It lifted up two inches and stayed there. So I looked into it. Yeah, brilliant. So um, not a tench, but a bream. But we're catching. So let's get one, eh? Well, as you can see to my left, I've come off the float, only for an hour though, because um, I needed a rest, needed a cup of tea. But um, it's only just gone 10, so, well, yeah, it's only just gone 10, and I've got every intention of staying here all day. But, um, yeah, I've got the ledgers out, I've got a bit of sweet corn and a little tiny PVA bag with some um, uh, two mil pellet in it. I've, got, I've stuck one right in that hole there, look, there she is, in that hole there and I've stuck one right to my left. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a rest for an hour, see what we, see what happens. But um, looking at it then, it's the, um, the peacock. I'm gonna, next time I come, I'm gonna fish with the peacock straight away. Um, come away from the float ledger now, because uh, the peacock quill is, uh, like I said, it's, it's a lot easier to hook them and, um, and when the float lifts, it get, that's when you hit it. So, yeah, that was good. I've had uh, so many rud, but um, I've had me tench, which is good. I hope it's not what I'm going to finish on. I'm hoping I'm going to have a couple more today. But um, yeah, see how we get on. I'll finish my cup of tea, wait till 11, and I'll go back on the float.
Okay, I think I'm going to wrap up the video now. Um, I've been on the float all afternoon. It's about 10 to 3 now. I have got the inliner down in the edge here where I've been fishing while I tidy up and everything. But um, yeah, we finally got a tench. I'm well happy, well happy. And um, what I do at the very end, obviously, I'll, I'll show, you, show you again um, the tench. But um, yeah, well pleased. I might get one in the next half an hour while I'm packing up, but um, it took, what did it take me, five, maybe six sessions to get one, but we finally got one, we finally got one. Got enough bream though, didn't I? But um, yeah, yes, got him. And um, yeah, see you soon, eh?